this is just what I imagined I would be doing today. Oh, well, oh, no. Oh, but... Hi everyone, I am currently working from home and filming some videos here during this pandemic. I am sending a lot of love to all of you guys. While I'm home, I've been thinking about a few beauty regimens I can try and maybe you can too. This week, I'm testing a few at-home solutions to removing dark under eye circles. I believe I have dark circles. I don't get as much sleep as I should and I'm glaring at a screen 90% of the day. So I found a variety of DIY under eye masks that I can make from kitchen ingredients that people claim reduces puffiness and dark under eye circles and overall adds hydration back to the under eyes. I know right now finding and getting ingredients might be kind of tough, so I picked a variety of remedies, and for a lot of these, you might already have everything you need. This is just a one-day test. I know results can vary if you try it for multiple days or twice a week, but I am only judging by one day and one try. So let's see what's in the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, so the first mask is an avocado and aloe vera mask that I saw from a few sites and blogs. The only ingredients you'll need are avocado and aloe vera gel. I found this 99% aloe vera gel from Whole Foods, but if I didn't find it, I was going to stick to some after sun gel with aloe that I had from last summer. From my research, I found that avocados are filled with a ton of vitamins and minerals like vitamin E that can help reduce fine lines and wrinkles. An avocado's natural oils can also soften, nourish, and hydrate the skin. While we're most familiar with aloe vera for sunburn relief, this gel can also help with acne and dry skin. Some benefits of aloe vera around the eyes include reducing swelling and puffiness. I cut a quarter of an avocado and mixed it with a quarter cup of aloe vera. Some recipes say to do one teaspoon of each, but it all depends on how much you want to make. It has like a nice consistency. It's not like watery, so it won't kind of drip off my eyes. Let's hope, but let's do it. Wow, it feels so cooling. I cleaned it up a bit with my fingers and tried to spread the mask out more evenly, especially in the corner of my eyes where it's super dark. Then I left it on for about 20 minutes. Should we make some guac? Some dip? At first when you put it on, it's very cooling, but then now I feel just a slight tingle underneath my eyes. Um, that could be from the aloe vera or it could be from the avocado, but it's not painful, it's not like burning, but I can imagine if you have more sensitive skin than I do, you have to do like a test patch on your skin before you wanna put it on your under eyes or keep it on for just a less amount of time. So the mask stayed on my skin and wasn't as messy as I thought it would be. I removed it with a napkin, then washed it off with warm water. Afterwards, my under eyes felt very soft. It didn't work wonders on my dark circles, but my under eyes definitely looked and felt softer and more hydrated. Today, I'm trying a cucumber and rose water mask. For this mask, I needed some cotton rounds, and these will come in handy for other masks too. Cucumbers can help depuff under eyes and soothe irritation. They're also about 96% water, so they add a lot of hydration to the skin. Rose water has anti-inflammatory properties and can soothe skin irritation. Also, rose water smells so good and the aroma can help reduce stress. A few websites had a similar recipe that said to mix one teaspoon of minced cucumber with one teaspoon of rose water. I first tried to put the cucumber in a slicer, but that didn't really get it into tiny pieces, so I sliced it up the old fashioned way. Then I cut the cotton round in half, dipped it into the mixture, and placed it under my eyes for 10 minutes. Uh-oh. Oh no. I don't like this. Ah! I actually had to lie down to keep them on, which I didn't mind, but it was still a mess. It did feel very cool and soothing under my eyes and smelled amazing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's high that's like really hydrated. That's very soft. 
So next time I probably would just take a cucumber and slice it in two big pieces and spray that with rose water and put that under my eyes. Uh, I might still have to lay down for that because the cucumbers will fall off, but I feel like it would be less messy than this. But I, I love the way it makes me feel. I feel like very awake. So that's good. Potato day. All you need for this one is one potato. This is one of the easier ones to try. You just slice the potato into thin half moon pieces. I had to try a few times to get thinner pieces that'll stick to my face. You can also blend the potato, but after my cucumber mess, I decided slices are way easier. Potatoes are filled with minerals and have a lot of vitamin C. One of the main benefits of potatoes is reducing eye bags and dark circles. Booyah! Leave them on for about 20 minutes. I was lying down while doing this and for a few minutes I applied the extra pieces on my eyelids and wow, this was so relaxing. Way to go, potatoes! Once I removed the potatoes, I instantly saw an improvement in my dark circles and the texture of my under eyes. So far, this is my favorite method because it was clean, easy, and it worked. Day four, coffee time. The ingredients you'll need for this mask are honey and soft ground coffee. There are actually a ton of videos of people who tried this coffee and honey mask, so I thought I'd give it a go. First, you mix a teaspoon of soft ground coffee and a teaspoon of honey together. I first tried mixing with a brush, but clearly this isn't the best brush for it, so I was able to mix them together with a spoon. Coffee is used in skin treatments for exfoliation, but it can also reduce wrinkles and puffiness and helps with inflammation. Honey is known to have antibacterial properties and can prevent wrinkles and fine lines. This mask wasn't as cooling as the other ones, probably because I'm using room temperature ingredients. For me, I definitely prefer some of the colder ones. Wow, this went on a lot easier than I thought. As if I didn't have dark under eyes before. <laughs> I will say it kind of feels like a, a very thick paste. I don't feel the fine coffee grounds and um, it's not as sticky as honey. So I think the combination works really well together. It doesn't feel like glue on my face or anything. It just feels like a, a paste. And you have to be careful the paste doesn't fall. They kind of look like a Kylie lip kit. <laughs> After 20 minutes, I used damp cotton rounds to carefully remove the mask. It came off a lot easier than I anticipated. I washed my face to make sure everything was off and this is what my eyes looked like. Honestly, I wasn't too impressed with the results for this one. My under eyes looked the same and didn't feel any different. On day five, I tried a green tea and rosehip oil mask that I saw in a YouTube video by Spanky Valentine. All you need is a green tea bag, rosehip oil, and cotton rounds again. If you don't have rosehip oil, you can still try this mask without it. So online, I've read that you can use the tea bags cold or warm. Obviously, don't burn yourself. But cold tea bags can help reduce dark circles, shrink eye bags, and soothe red eyes and irritation, especially green tea. Rosehip oil is a natural vitamin source and can stimulate collagen production and elasticity. And I definitely think I need that under the eyes. It also hydrates and moisturizes the skin. First, you steep the green tea, then mix it with a few drops of rosehip oil. In the video, she opened up the green tea bag and added the actual tea leaves in there, so I did the same. Then take two halves of a cotton round and dip that in the cup. I drained the water and made sure I got a lot of tea leaves onto the cotton round. Cool for 20 minutes, then apply. Okay, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna soak it here. I have lost it. I am a mess. Great. Huh. Oh, well, oh, no. Oh, dear. How did she have it on? Oh. Oh. Oh, 
darling, you're going to stick on that eye. How marvelous. <laughs> The wet tea leaves felt pretty itchy and irritating under my eyes. After 15 or 20 minutes, I removed the patches by wiping my eyes with damp cotton rounds. They came off right away, then I rinsed my face. As for the results, my dark circles that day were pretty bad, I think worse than the previous days, so seeing the after pictures, I feel like the mask helped reduce some of the dark circles. Honestly, a good alternative is just steeping two tea bags, cooling, and placing under or over your whole eye. I once had an irritated eye and did this trick, and it helped reduce the irritation, so that's an easy bonus trick. And last but not least, I tried a buttermilk turmeric eye mask that I saw DIY queen Farah Dukai do. Turmeric has a ton of benefits, including lightening pigmentation, reducing wrinkles, and minimizing UV damage and breakouts. I didn't have buttermilk, so I made my own by mixing milk with white vinegar. Buttermilk contains lactic acid, which can gently exfoliate, improve pigmentation, and remove fine lines. Careful not to add too much turmeric because it can stain. Wow, this was an easy application. It feels so good. I can actually feel like the calmness of the brush with this mask because it's so liquidy. It's not as drippy as I thought it would be. It was really easy to get those dark corners with this mask and brush. I feel like I can meditate with this mask on because the turmeric is like helping my sinuses in a way. Wow, I, I am actually very surprised that this mask isn't like dripping off. I left it on for about 15 minutes. At first it felt a bit tingly, but as the mask dried, that feeling went away. The cold milk underneath my eyes was incredibly soothing. Then I easily wiped it off with the damp cotton rounds. My skin was a bit stained, but that went away after a few minutes. While it's a bit hard for me to tell, I think this mask helped with the texture of my under eyes and the fine lines more than the dark circles, but I'll take it. There you go. These DIY masks were super fun to try. The potato mask was my favorite because I instantly saw brightening results under my eyes. It was also the easiest one to make and apply. The turmeric and buttermilk mask was a close second because it improved some of my fine lines and was very soothing under the eyes. Let me know what other suggestions you have in the comments below and which mask is your favorite.